Welcome back to the channel, you guys. I'm Connor O'Reilly for Team Lone Star Discs, Team OTB Discs, Discology, Chump Chalk Bags, and Gorilla Disc Golf. And this weekend at the European Open, through three rounds, I was able to lead the field in strokes gained Circle 1X putting. If you want to know how I did it, this video is going to be part one of my multi-part series breaking down how to be a better putter. So check it out. Part one of this four-part series is going to detail the mental approach and routine building that you're gonna need to become an elite putter in disc golf. And if you wanna beat guys like Gannon Burr, Corey Ellis, Paul McBeth, Ricky Wysocki, in terms of putting stats, you're gonna need a solid mental game and a consistent mental approach to every putt. It's also gonna be important to know which style of grip you prefer to putt, what type of stance you wanna take, and the stroke motion that you're gonna choose for your putt. But if you wanna figure those ones out, you're gonna to have to wait until parts two through four of this series. Let's see how to become a better putter mentally by building a strong routine and having the proper mindset. While many parts of the disc golf game, including the backhand swing, can be very mechanical, putting happens to be probably the most individual part of the game. A lot of it comes down to what makes you comfortable how can you get in the basket? But with that being said, it's gonna be important that we approach every putt with a consistent mental setup. For me, I know it's really important that I don't ever attach a score or an outcome to a putting scenario. If it's a putt that I decide that I'm gonna run, I just wanna putt for a good, clean, committed stroke because attaching birdie or bogey or whatever score you might take to that putt can only add to the layers of difficulty that comes with just mentally focusing on a task like putting, which we innately can do very easy, but as soon as we can't let the mind get in the way, it becomes more difficult. So while it's important to not only not try to attach any value to the putt, except for a good, clean stroke, I think it's also important to have the same mental and routine setup every time you approach a putt so that you can enter that intuitive state a little bit easier on the course versus being a player maybe where on one putt, I'm going to pump fake, and the next putt, I'm going to take 20 seconds, and this one, I'm going to take five seconds. I think having that consistency helps us turn off the brain and get ourselves into the intuitive state of mind where we make the most putts. Now, whether you want to be a quick routine like Isaac Robinson, or maybe you want to be like your favorite player, Gannon Burr, Take a little bit of time, make sure that chalk and that wind's just right. Whatever makes you comfortable, just be consistent with it. For myself, I'll show you guys how I like to approach the putt and whether or not you wanna copy this routine, I think it's important that you decide your own routine and what you wanna do. And whether that changes every couple months because maybe I'm in a slump and I wanna switch it up, I think that's fine, but pick something, stick with it, and don't just give up on it day one. Try to stick with it, make sure you're getting the reps up because if you change your routine, but you're not actually getting the daily reps up to find that muscle memory and to find that intuitive state within that routine, then what's the point of just changing it up? You're just kind of scapegoating your lack of putting in the work. What I like to do is I mark my disc. I'm gonna take a meter step back. I'm gonna look at the putt, visualize it going into the basket on the flight line that I want. Then I'm gonna step up to that putt. At that point, I'm gonna do a pump fake, feel the stroke and also feel my back foot's footing a lot of times that pump fake will show me whether or not I need to dig that back foot in more if I'm on some slippery ground or um, if I can trust that footing. And sometimes if that one doesn't feel right, if it feels like my balance was off or whatever, I might do one more pump fake just to make sure the rhythm felt good. So here's how that looks. Hey, I'm making a video. What's up? <laughs> just ran into my friends Henrik and Yano and uh, we're going to check out this course afterwards. So, you know, got to add to that course collection always, but let's cut back to the chase. I'm gonna show you guys what my routine looks like in real time. Now, while you're mentally approaching this putt and doing your routine, don't forget to breathe. I think breathing, whether it's a four second in, four second out count, 
too quick in, long out, however you want to breathe to get yourself in a relaxed state of mind and to relieve the tension in your body, I think it's important to not only have that consistent routine to make sure you're breathing and make sure also to not attach any extra value to the putt. That's going to be it for step one of four of how to become a better putter. Stay tuned for the next set of tips and tricks so you can go out there and beat your friends and make sure you collect all those circle one looks for birdie, par, bogey, whatever it is. It doesn't matter because we're just putting for a good putt and a good stroke. Once again, I'm Connor O'Reilly. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see y'all soon.